Hello and welcome to lesson 51 once again in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and Word with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In our previous lesson, that was lesson 50, we dealt with the formula that can help us to know the balance of our students. Yeah, maybe a student has paid a particular amount and is left with a particular amount for the student to clear. We, we dealt with that formula that can help us to indicate that so let's just try something here let's try something here hit enter so the student is supposed to pay 50 cities it means the student is owing 50 cities so let's assume that the the fee for that particular class is 600 cities and the student paid only 400 cities it means the student is owing 200 cities the student is owing extra 200 cities but the question is why is it that this one is not appearing here i'll show you but before we start with that don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family members don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section of this video as we start this lesson we have more videos on how to create a school management system from lesson one to this current one please make sure that you check the description of this video so that you can get the rest of the videos on how to create a school management system or you can still whatsapp us on the numbers appearing on your screen in case you need any of our videos all right so the reason why this one the balance is not appearing is that we are yet to do auto filling for the rest of the classes we cannot be typing the formulas for each class or for each uh, row so the only thing that we can do is to make sure that we do auto filling for the rest of the classes so what you do is that you position this one you select this one what you need to do is to select the first one here then you position your mouse pointer or whatever here make sure that it appears like the plus sign then you left click and hold then we drag it to the last student we are developing this system for 505 students like this so we are done auto filling like joke like play so please make sure that you watch this video from the beginning to the end don't skip any part of this video if you skip any part you don't understand anything so don't forget to save your work control s like this to save your work good so please i hope you can see the balance appearing here now the balance is now appearing here so um we are going to try our system and see if it is really working so uh, this particular class basic um i think that will be basic seven the fees for basic seven students is what 600 ghana cities then this student paid 300 cities as the first installment then that particular student didn't pay anything for the second then that student paid 100 Ghana CDs again as the fourth installment. So this is the amount received, 400 CDs. Then the balance that the student is owing is what? 200 Ghana CDs. So that is how the system is made. That is how we are creating the system. We want the system to respond to everything automatically without any challenge. The next thing that we are going to do is to work on the status here. We need a particular formula that can indicate whether the student finished paying his or her fees or not. So that is the next thing that we are going to do now. That is the next thing that we are going to do. So we are going to insert that formula to please make sure that you watch this video carefully. Make sure that you follow instructions here so that you don't make any mistake so right here we are going to insert our equal to sign sorry let me just clear that one then we come to the top we must begin from the top here like this so we insert our equal to sign then we bring our if statement here so after the if then you open a new bracket now we are going to use this one here we are going to use the receive and the fees to work on this one so select the first one here so if amount received 
is greater or less sorry so if the amount received is greater or equal to the fees so let's go to the fees section but before we move to that side let's uh, do something here so if the amount received is greater or equal to the fees here then it should be completed or paid i take it again so the reason why we are working on we are dealing with this one the reason why we are using this one is that it is the amount received and the fees that will indicate the balance here so what we want to do is that we are we want to insert a particular formula we want to insert a particular formula here to help us know whether the student finished paying his or her fees or not so the formula here is going to tell the system that if this amount received here is greater or equal to the fees then it should be declared as what paid or completed so now after the equal to sign then you bring your if statement then we come to this one amount received so select the receive like this then is greater or equal to so if the amount received here that is going to be the cases is greater or equal to the fees so let's go to the fees section or the fees column so you select it like this if the amount received is greater or equal to the fees then comma it should be what completed so that is what we are going to do now so comma here then you bring your inverted commas like this then completed like that then you close it then you close your bracket you bring your inverted commas like this then you bring your bracket here now or else and paid and paid and paid so you bring your inverted commas again please don't forget to bring it at the beginning here too this is also a different thing on its own so what this simply means is that if the amount received is greater or equal to the fees that the student is supposed to pay in that particular class then it should be completed the status should show as completed but if it is less than the said amount that the student is supposed to pay in that class then it should be unpaid so let's take it like uh kg2 people are supposed to pay 200 cities and the student paid only 150 cities then it means it will appear as what unpaid the student is yet to complete his or her payment so the system or the status will show unpaid but if the student is able to pay the 200 cities then the system will show it as what completed the status here will show as what will appear as what completed the status here will appear as completed okay so after writing all these things after typing this formula here let's just press enter please have you seen it because that student is supposed to pay 200 cities as kg1 student is supposed to pay 200 cities but the student paid only what 150 cities the balance here that the student is owing is 50 cities so it will show as what unpaid but now let's just change something there and let's see how the system will respond so let's take it like the student paid another 50 cities here at what installment three hit enter so the status will tend to what completed that is how it works so now let's do auto filling so that this formula can take effect on all the classes that we have in our system so make sure that you position your mouse pointer on the down right corner make sure that it turns like the plus sign then you left click and hold and drag it to the last side here good so you see the unpaid 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 everywhere so thank you very much we don't want this video to be long so we will end it here and continue in lesson 52 so thank you very much let's meet in lesson 52 and make sure that you subscribe to the channel 
and make sure that you turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload new videos you'll be able to receive the notification and watch those videos as well so thank you very much let's meet in lesson 52 bye bye Thank you.